Hello and welcome to another episode of Ballplace TIS 100. So the last one was Histogram Viewer, then this is a sandbox, so the next one that's an actual puzzle is Signal Window Filter. Right, so I've got these lists of numbers. Um, read values from in, write the sum of the last three values to out, dot three, and the sum of the last five values to out, dot five, and assume prior in values are zero. Right, so what do we have? And we have these two stack nodes, which I presume you could use to uh, to store five numbers in and pull them out and do all kinds of clever stuff with that. I am going to try and do it without. So, what I would like to do, here's my concept anyway. Um, we'll try doing the five first. So all I want the five to be doing is add up subtract left move accumulator out not out <laughs> what am i thinking of down so what i'm saying here was you know to to do the sum of the last five values what in effect you need to do once you have the sum, is subtract the one that's falling out of the fifth, i.e. the sixth one ago or the fifth one ago, remove that one from the sum and add a new one into the sum. So if we could have a chain of numbers coming down here, um, such that we have, a, we have five of them in a chain and we pull one off so that this one here is always this is the newest one coming this is the oldest one so we pull the oldest one we've always access to the fifth oldest and throw it away by subtracting it this should technically work so this is where we get a new number in so move up to the move up to the accumulator Uh, move accumulator right, move accumulator down, say. And move left down, move up down, move up left move right down that sounds move right down that sounds like a groove going on there move up right now i know this has got to be used for but what i'm trying to do at the moment is like a proof of concept can i get this working i mean is my brain even thinking in the correct uh move correct way move left right now, the problem with it at the moment is I need to precede this sort of delay loop here, but I need to seed it, I believe, with five zeros. So move zero down. I'm going to copy and paste that. Like that. Okay, the zeros have all propagated in, but um, we don't have enough room. So what I'd like to consider doing is so in effect each one of these is one item in the queue and i only have four so i would like to have a way of storing more than one item in the queue in a, in a node now i have an accumulator and a backup so so 
so it should be possible because like the only time you can't really use the accumulator on the backup is if you want to do maths on it because there's no sort of concept of adding a backup to the accumulator but just but just so if i want to use the backup for this um say so i move up to the accumulator i've grabbed one of them i then need to save it and fall into a loop which then takes another one in yes move up to the accumulator i then want to swap move accumulator left now just moved the so i need to get the old one back swap again and jump back to l right so if this is right this in effect this box can now store two one in the accumulator one in the backup so where where am i breaking down here ah right this is just pre-filling the this queue with five zeros i don't i only ever want to do that once at the start of the program i don't want to do that each loop and we can see this is indeed adding five so as a proof of concept that works for the five so it should be possible to make that work for the three as well however what i'd like to so i need to sort of send the hmm i'm not sure i can figure out a way of, of pulling the third item from a queue of five so what i'm going to do is change this round a little bit the queue for the five is going to come here 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 through this stack node and there The queue for the three is going to be there. And the real, the, the value is going to come in like this. So. I only have three boxes here to play with. So two of them are going to have to be this sort of technique of each one storing a queue of two, like doubling up the amount of data. You know, so like each box here is, is like a queue item of one where you push one in and depending on how many of these you've strung together, one pops out the end, you know, that number of boxes later. I don't have five boxes or anything like it here, but if this one say did two and this one did two, um, then go via the stack and get it out this way. So the stack isn't actually going to be, the stack should just be used like the pass through, put one on, pull one off type thing. Okay. So that said, what I'd like to do is start moving all this around. So I'm going to copy and paste this like that. So this time I'm moving in from the left. and going out to the down. This time I'm coming in from the up, but I'm going out this way to the right. This guy isn't doing anything special. He's just moving left to down. Mm. 
this is just being used as a transfer. So I'm going to add left, subtract right, which is the old queue coming in here. Now, I need to pre-fill this queue here now to the right. Hmm, so I've pre-filled the queue. I want to still send one to the right, which is correct. I want to send one down. I now want to send move up, down, move up, right. And these two boxes, I'm just going to blank them out so I don't get confused. Right, that's not so good. Okay. So the first problem I see, and then I want to suppose that is that this, oops, my mouse has gone funny again. Sorry about that. Um, this stack has more than one item in it because it, it, it okay it's not going to block like a normal node if the whole point of the queue is that they're all kind of stuck waiting for someone to pull one off the end in which case it can all shuffle down but with a stack this guy can keep sticking them ad infinitum onto it well and it won't um and they keep filling up. Okay, so we need to stop that. So what I propose to do is if the queue is full, or when I say full, all but one full, then in theory, it will act like a normal node, i.e. when you push one onto it, you won't be able to push another one on until somebody takes the very top one off. Um, so, you know, in effect, we'll convert this from a stack to just a queue by only giving it one node. So move, hmm. I don't know how many, 12, I don't know, 12 to accumulator. Um, move, so put a loop here, move. Uh, move, say. 9999 minus 99 just so I can see it so I can see 90 oh, I'm in, okay move 99 down subtract one jump on not zero back to the label and this is L and that only needs to be done at the very start of the program so this is just moving left down, jump L2. Okay, still not enough. Another two to that 14. Yes, and there we go. So it can't fill this up and, and miss numbers. So the right hand side of this is now correct because basically the, all these 99s um, stack the stack the um, what's the word I'm looking for stack yeah okay so the, the stack is blocked it can't work like a stack anymore okay um, so if this guy is going to um, 
do the same thing. It's going to be getting its. So this is the current value coming into it already. But I'm going to need the previous ones stored here. And I've only got two, so I believe what that's going to mean is I need another one of these. Because I need three sort of backup. I need, I need a queue of three values here. So this is coming from the right. And it comes from the right again. And it sends it down. And this one should just be a straight move up right. Now. Um, this one now it's got it's the first job it's got to do is it's got to pre-populate this queue with three zeros. So move zero left, move zero left, move zero left. But I never want to come back up here again. But now I need to split this value so I need to move I'm well, not split it but I need I need to take a copy of it so I need to move up to the accumulator move the accumulator um, down move the accumulator left so it's now heading down here moving right but I also need to do my little addition box here, which would be add up, subtract left, and move accumulator down, which is just a copy of that basically. But this guy's got the additional task of getting this one his current value as well. Now I did add up, so I'm going to need an additional move accumulator down and whilst I don't so I don't forget I don't want to go back to the start of this I just want to this is my loop for this box now not the whole thing and there we go um I mean I know technically I am using a stack but it's not being used as a stack it's just got these sort of horrendous cues Yep, it's got onto the next page, okay. Now, I, I you know, it, this is, I when I heard about this game, because I obviously, I like Space Cam, I like Infinity Factor, I like them. I, I think they're really, really good, clever games. and um, Brilliant um, would be another word for them. I thought, oh, this might be too much like programming. It might be like work, you know, do you really want to do it? But I think when you look at this, you know, I mean, that to me does not look look like a program, which um, it's opaque. Uh, and the last, okay, so what was that? Seven twenty eight cycle count. Um, yeah, it's not awful, is it? It's just a bit above a peak here. There must be some other way of doing it, sort of like this, without a um, lot of instructions. Obviously, can be done with with much less. Um, continue editing this segment. Yes, but wait, what, no, sorry, the point I was going to make was that when you look at that, you know, some must look at that, even a programmer, even an assembly language programmer, and go, hmm, what does that do? Yeah, it's not immediately obvious that this um, stores the sum of five values, is it? And three, and puts them out. You know, you, you'd, you'd be looking at that for quite a while before you said, yeah, I know what that does. Yeah, it, it's obvious. So anyway, um, that was a signal window filter in TIS 100. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do drop a like on the video. If you would like to subscribe and haven't done so um, already, that would be great. Thanks for everybody who's been supporting the channel. It's only new and I haven't got many subscribers, but... Um, it's still fun and exciting. So for those who have, thanks a million. For those who haven't, um, if you consider it, that'd be great. And thanks again for watching. Again, any comments? Um, love to hear from you. Bye now.